in class, believe it or not. And that means you'll be seeing more buses on the roads and you'll need to follow specific rules as well. Fox 55's Troyce Grant is live this evening from the Fort Wayne Community Schools bus barn. After speaking with safety officials, she joins us now. Troyce, what did they tell you about starting back to school? Yes, Tara. Well, I'm sure a lot of people at home are thinking this is just going to be a regular back to school season like any other. But still, nonetheless, there are rules that drivers tend to overlook when sharing the roads. Here's a look at what Indiana State Police and Fort Wayne Community Schools had to say. Just like that, summer break is over for local Fort Wayne school districts. Even if you're not going back to school, this will still impact you as a driver. You're going to be sharing the roads with school buses. Um, these school buses are transporting our students, our children to and from each day, um, and their safety is our number one priority. So uh, motorists need to understand what the laws are and what the rules of the road are concerning uh, how to operate around a school bus when it's stopped and when it's moving, when it's not moving. A key indicator is the color of the bus lights. Your first, your first sign should probably be just the big yellow school bus. That should alert you that maybe we've got children in the area, if not on that bus, at least out on the sidewalks or whatnot. But when the red lights come on, we know we're coming to a school bus stop where we have children standing and waiting. Fort Wayne Community Schools says parents shouldn't have to worry about late buses or waiting around because this year they're back to a full staff. A uh, bus driver shortage has been a real issue for many districts, including Fort Wayne Community Schools. This year, though, we're setting pretty good, and we're confident that we'll be able to get our students to and from school safely. And right now, the school district is asking for drivers to be extra patient as there are a few zones under construction, so buses may move a bit slower. Construction uh, zones that, you know, cause a situation, slow down uh, bus transportation. But we also have our transportation safety crews out making new uh, routes if they have to have an alternate route or maybe around some roads that are closed. Northwest, Southwest, and East Allen County Schools all head back to class this Wednesday, and then Fort Wayne Community Schools starts this Thursday. Remember, if you see a bus with flashing lights, please stop. And as always, stay extra vigilant as you share the roads. We're live on Cook Road. Troy Grant, Fox 55 News. Troy, thank you.